Welcome to In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Chris O'Rourke, as we continue our series, Conversations on COVID-19. And as of today, small businesses are still taking it on the chin from this virus, and a local university is stepping up to help them out. That is Bloomsburg University, and we are joined today by our first repeat guest. He is Dr. Todd Shaver, the Dean of the Ziegler College of Business at Bloomsburg University. Welcome, Todd. Thank you. Um, good, good to see you again, Chris. Uh, yeah, under these inauspicious circumstances, unfortunately, we're both kind of dragging after two months of being at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, o- I'm over the Zoom meetings already, so... <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, Bloomsburg University Small Business Recovery Program, has Bloomsburg University ever done anything like this before? Uh, to my knowledge, we haven't done anything like this before. So this is, it, this is definitely new territory for Bloomsburg University and the Ziegler College of Business. Where did the university, where did you guys, the business, the Ziegler School of Business come up with the idea? Well, I, I was speaking to a couple of my colleagues and some other departments across campus and uh, the idea had come up. We've always thought about doing a consulting type arm to help out our local family and small businesses. Uh, so we developed this program with that thought in mind. And because of the COVID-19 crisis, we, we thought it would be a good idea to take the talents of you know, our knowledge and abilities here in the, the College of Business and be able to apply those in the small business field. So first off, uh, like everything else these days, we're doing things on the fly. How how long ago did you start planning to do something like this? Snapped our fingers and it was done. No, uh, it was about <laughs> it was about a month in the making. Um, so we we started planning it, and within about two weeks, we had it fully developed and and we launched it. So what uh, help can you provide? What help are you focusing on for small business? Sure. The the initial focus is really anything that a small business needs. Now, we can't provide financial assistance because we're we're not in that business, but we can provide a lot of other other business type, uh, applied different business type disciplines into this program. Uh, For instance, we can look at social media. We can look at marketing plans. We can look at business plans. We can analyze a business's strategy to think if it's a sustainable strategy moving forward. Uh, so when you decide to do something like this, as you said, you spoke to your colleagues, did you immediately identify the areas of expertise you provide that matches the areas of expertise of your staff? Yes. Yeah, we actually looked at, you know, what, what are the strengths of our faculty? And we have multiple business disciplines within our the Ziegler College of Business from accounting, tax, uh, marketing, social media, finance. Uh, information technology and we also have a management degree in supply chain management as well so we're looking at all those different areas and what talents we can actually pull from our faculty in order to uh, really move this forward and provide that expertise to the local small business community so how daunting of a task is this helping businesses recover from this horrific catastrophe they're dealing with It's a daunting task and unfortunately there's no magic wand anybody can wave to actually fix it. Uh, Our small businesses have been greatly impacted by this and it's not going to be an easy task to pull these small businesses out of it by any means of the imagination. So we're going to do our part and help our local community do that by providing our uh, knowledge expertise here. Now, it, will it be uh, staff-based expertise, or are you also pulling your students into the mix as well? We're actually going to pull our students into the mix. Uh, so the, the students, they'll, will, they'll take what they're, they've learned in the classroom, and, through a, and then we'll have a faculty advisor leading them through the process. And this will be a good experiential learning opportunity for the students uh, in impacting a small business in their community. Do you know offhand how many students are involved or how many have, have they volunteered to help out? Did you reach out for them? Yeah, we, we are still working on it. It'll, uh, we will have a number of students who are interested in this and it's a great resume builder for them as well to actually gain that, that experience helping a small business. So is this part of the learning experience Do they credit for or is it just a volunteer effort on their part? Uh, it can be both. Um, it can be done as an internship 
uh, which is led by a faculty member. It can also be done as uh, part of our MBA program as a practicum. Uh, it can also be from a volunteer opportunity as well of the students. In addition, it could be part of a classroom project. Now, how long do you see this program running for the for this intent? Uh, and oh, go ahead, answer. Oh yeah, no, no, I I, I believe that uh, this program w would at least be in place for the next academic year, uh, as these small businesses work to recover from the COVID nineteen situation. Is the IB is the idea being a one to one one student for business, or do you think students could take on multiple businesses? Uh, we, we, we will put multiple students on one business. Uh, the more minds we have to it, the, the better off the businesses are going to be. So how do you, are you getting the word out about this? Uh, how do you get the word out about this program? Yep, Other we, than uh, us. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, when, when uh, we finally got the approval to move forward with it, we did put out a news release. And through that news release, uh, our marketing communications department actually put together you know, a good news release and started setting it out to the different uh, outlets to get this launched. Uh, we created a flyer that we provided to the local chambers of commerce and the local chambers of commerce have been uh, marketing it to their small businesses. Is there a telephone number, uh, an email address, a website that these businesses go to that we can put up on the screen there? Sure, uh, there, is, there is a website um, we set up for it. It's actually a, a web form that they can actually fill out if they need assistance. It's at www.bloomu.edu and forward slash ZCOB, Z-C-O-B. Uh, and there is a form that, that a small business owner can fill out and provide us with details of what type of assistance they need. And are you pretty much prepared for any kind of business to reach out to you? Yep, we're, we're prepared for any, any type of small business to reach out to us. Have you been contacted by any businesses yet? Yeah, so far we've had uh, four small businesses within the Bloomsburg community reach out and they're looking for anywhere from help with their marketing plans, help with their business plans, uh, help with social media marketing, and, and looking at a number of other things as well. Okay, and um, have you already reached out to students? Have, are students already involved with them? Yeah, we're getting students involved now. Um, we, we just received these notifications a short while ago, so we're working on pulling together our teams. We're putting a faculty member who has that those the knowledge that we're looking for to advise some students in that process. And that, that faculty member will be reaching out to those students and getting that team together. So uh, are you limiting the scope of the businesses you'll help to just the Bloomsburg area or beyond that? Well, we, we can help uh, really within, because we're all virtual right now, it's going to be relatively easy to actually reach out as in, in the far reaches of Pennsylvania to help our small businesses out. Okay, so have alumni been reaching out and saying, hey, this is a good idea. Uh, can you help out with businesses in my area? Sure. Yeah, we definitely had some of our alumni reach out and say, can, can you help us out and help our local businesses down here? You know, they're, they're as far reaching as the Allentown area. Um, and Harrisburg area and, and really beyond that. Now that the program, now you're getting into foundation for the program in place, is this something you would consider doing even beyond this crisis? Yes, we de definitely want to do this beyond this crisis. Um, we, we do want to really assure that our small businesses have fiscal sustainability going forward and make sure that you know they're really thinking about their businesses as a whole Sometimes businesses become too centered on the product or service that they're providing and don't understand the different other components of the business that are important to actually make them successful and have that sustainability. Well, what a great program, certainly for the uh, Ziegler College of Business, going out there and putting it out for the businesses, I would think so. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's a great opportunity. And it's a great opportunity for our faculty, our students, and also our, you know, the local small business community to actually improve and grow. You know, I, I look at it this way, our small business community makes up a large percentage of our employment here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and across the country. So we need to make sure we do our part to help those small businesses out. Okay, so it's called the Small Business Recovery Program. We welcome uh, Dr. Todd Shaver for the Dean of the Ziegler College of Business at Bloomsburg University. Well, that's a mouthful for joining us this morning. <laughs> 
I get tied up too with that. <laughs> thank you so much for your time and good luck with the program. Great. Thank you very much, Chris. Okay. And we will be right back.